What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 4 video here for you guys on the channel. This one we're basically going to do a little bit more of the Institute stuff. Uh, before we leave in we go give uh, the holotape that we obtained here in the Institute back to Sturgis. In this video we're basically going to expand on the whole notion that we infiltrated if you will the Institute. Um, and that's basically it you know. Uh, for starters though, I do want to go around and do some quick uh, things that I need to do before I leave just in case I decide not to, you know, side with the Institute. Uh, I won't miss out on anything that they offer, so there's that. If you're excited for this video though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Alright, so I need to remember how to actually get there. I think it's this way actually. Uh, let me know down in the comment section what you guys personally think of the Institute. Also, if you guys, uh, like, actually sided with the Institute. I don't think very many people did, to be honest. Um, it would be pretty interesting to side with the Institute if I'm completely honest. Okay, this is, this has to be it. I don't know why I had a little bit of trouble with that. That was weird. Oh god, dude. I did all that for a freaking maintenance closet. Uh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. It's, oh, FEV lab. There it is. I have like this awkward tear down my screen for some reason. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, let's go into the FEV lab. Do I have a? I don't. I don't think I have that a terror. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, yeah, I do. I I can see it right there. It's literally right down the middle. Looks. It makes that little sensor thing look awkward. I don't know why it's there. It's kind of weird. Oh, that trap was for this thing. Give me this Tesla arc. Be taking those fusion cells for damn sure. Ooh, look who it is. It's an Institute man. Also known as a synthetic human being. Let's see what's in here. Dude, we have 55 body pins. How the hell did that happen? I swear, dude, over time it just... You just don't realize how much you take, I guess, right? Right there. So close. Right there. Sweet. Perfect. Let's clean ourselves. Um. Just in case I want to make a hasty escape. Hold on. We'll take that. Drinking glass. Restore desk fan. Sure, why not? Telephone. Definitely need those. What's in here? Fusion cells. Don't mind if I do there, bro. Stim pack. Could never get enough stim packs. Up. Oh, I'm scared. Alright, let's go. Done, skis, bro. There's two more, four more. Let's go. All right, let's step back for a second. Now let's step forward. Let's go. One down. Apparently one to go. Let's go. Three. All right, let's critical this one. Good. I was a little scared. Let's take the adhesive. Uh, if this was Fallout 76, this would be a freaking heavenly location. Because of the food. But it's not. Uh, cried. No. Damn it! Open up, please. 
I would greatly appreciate it. Robot, Cobra, swept. I literally hate these games, so I don't even try them. I just guess my way through. It eventually works. So there's that. Sweet. See? Told you. Let's go. Uh. Hello? Anybody there? See? This one alone had seven bobby pins. Maybe we could... Do I have any, um... Landmines? I mean, I have a cryo mine. Alright, we'll leave that there. Do I have any more mines? I have a fragmentation mine. I could put that over here. Uh, I guess that's all I have. Run! He's dead. <laughs> it worked. It's amazing. Uh, fuck it. I'll take everything. I can't believe you fell for it, man. That was hilarious. Hook pipe wrench mod? No, thank you. I don't need any of that right now. Plus, it's just a bunch of added weight that I don't need right now. Sure, dude. I got seven more from this sh little trip anyway, so... Why not, right? That's it. That's it. Fusion cells. Black Institute lab coat. I'll take those. I'll take that. Look at all this stuff, dude. Another Black Institute Corsair uniform? Sure, why not? Stim pack. I don't like Mentats. I don't like doing drugs in this game, alright? Or in real life. So, don't do drugs. Unless it's legal. For you, of course. And I mean like... Medical marijuana type stuff. And that's only if you need it. I don't know. I get Fuck it. Whatever. Do what you want. It's your life. Just do things that are legal. That's all I'm saying. Let's see here. You! Uh, would I get better? Yes. Let's go. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Alright, fuck it. Critical. You want some of this? I guess he does. Do another one! I, I was scared. Not gonna lie. Give it to me. I don't really like that tear, dude. It's so annoying. Anything over here? Nope. Alright, well, let's check this. Give me fusion cells. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are so kind. May I enter now, please? This? No. This? No. What is this, anyways? Fire? I guess it's fire. Then it's pure. Got it. Look at me. Wait, what am I doing? Open the damn door. Let's go. This place is red. <gasps> Gasp! Alright, let me see. Applicator, I don't really know what that's for. Let's listen to this. Into my own hands. What we're doing. 
It's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this after... After I'm gone. Know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. If not for good, then... At least for years to come. And after that... I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the Coursers can find me. Everything that we've done. The lives we've taken. If there is a God, may he have mercy on us all. Well, damn. So, can Coursers not go to the Glowing Sea? I don't know. So the thing that I took from here is the thing that Virgil wanted. It's a serum for something. All right, let's see. What else do we got going on? FEV. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. Deactivate laser grid. Yes. Whoops. Bam. Good. We're done in the bioscience division. Let's go ahead and heal up to the max. Wait, how the hell do I get out of here? This way? Yes, this way. Alright. So now I need to... Do two things. Go to the requisitions synth. There's a couple things I need to buy from him. And then of course I need to go get a magazine that's topside. And then we will be leaving the institute and uh, going into talking to every individualized faction in the game. Other than the institute, of course. Alright, let's see here. I just need to remember... How to get to the location I'm trying to go. Um, uh, I don't know. Let's... Let's just go up here. Alright, let me see. I remember nothing to report, sir. I care about my Alright, let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know you are not Uh no, it's not here. I mean no. Legit, bro, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. Here maybe? Yeah, here it is. Cool. First try. Perfect. Uh, your canine companion per permanently takes 10% less damage. That's good. Nice. Have you developed a defect unit? This course is really grinding down this synth. Damn, dude. They're really strict. Welcome to the institute. Shut up, dude. I can't express how truly humbling it is to see you. Yeah, if you say so, lady. Um, all right, the requisition sin. You. Do I even have enough money? As the institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies for your missions on the surface. Thank you. How may I assist you today? Uh, yeah, actually, let's uh I've got Let's see what you got. To browse. So this is one. 25% faster fire rate, 15% uh, faster reload. Don't mind if I do. Um, let me see here. I need to buy this, 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 this. Do I have enough? I think I have enough actually. Let's double check. We're good here. We're good here. And we're good here. Definitely good there. Bingo. Yep. Almost all my money's gone now. Sad face. I kind of want his outfit. I'm gonna fucking steal it from him. Fuck it. Let's go ahead and quick save just in case this fails. I'm about to make his ass naked. 90%? Don't mind if I do. Hell yeah, boy. Naked AF. So that's everything I, I need to do, right? So let's go ahead and fast travel up out of here. 
We'll start with Sturges. Make it simple and fast. We're probably going to have to do a couple fast travels in this video. Going back and forth type stuff. Because I know the Brotherhood is going to want that tape that I got for Sturges. Dude, Sentry Bots look seriously badass, bro. Not even gonna lie. They're really badass, actually. They're really OP, too. Alright. Sturgis, where you at, homeboy? You're still working over here, dude? This shit don't work I'm anymore. Busy. Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of institute data. I hope. Most people are good at breaking things. I enjoy putting them back together. Okay. So who's attacking? What just happened? What the hell's going on? Uh Raider? Raider. Another raider. Why is there so many raiders just killing each other over here? Oh, it's because there's one of my provisioners. Uh, oh, we're getting attacked from all kinds of places. Let's go. Where are they? You, I'm coming for you, buddy. Dead. Nice try there, buddy. Wait, do I have extra people here? I think I do. Who's this? I don't know who this is. Nicholas Valentine's here. Wait, what is this for? I'm not sure. Alright, do I have anything? Why is there two people living in Coastal Cottage? I'm not sure. Um Actually, let's send her to Overland Station. That's a good place for her seeing as it has food. Overland and then Wait, hold on. Okay, so they need to come here. So you need to come to sanctuary there we go you are now a provisioner look at all these people wait is this another person all right so i saw that egret tours marina was another one so let's send her to egret tours and then you come back to sanctuary Is that everybody? That might actually be everybody, to be honest. With a packed Brahmin and everything on the roof of my freaking house. But alright. Um, so we're done here, right? Alright, so let's go... To the railroad next. You know what I just thought of too? I actually didn't continue on with the Brotherhood quests. So I need to do that as well. So let's go ahead and uh, do this really fast. Before we continue anything with the Institute, I need to continue on with the Brotherhood. Pam wants to talk with you. She's in back. What the hell does she want? Deacon's record. What's up, Pam? Pam. Confirming presence of rogue variable. Dispensing data. There are three independent reports of coarser activity. Analysis completed based on target's activity pattern, location, and suspected trajectory. Conclusion. 
the Institute is actively looking for railroad assets. Stop gap solution. Terminate coarser threats whenever possible. Yeah, that makes sense. Seems logical to me. This unit's logic circuits are fully functional. Target designated Courser Alpha is in a defended location with lower generation synth targets. Eliminate Courser variable, leaving no survivors. End of discussion. If you say so. I don't want this active though. So attention. Uh, okay. So for now, let's go talk to Homegirl. Hi. There's Demona. I just heard the most fascinating rumor. The story goes that you actually found the Institute. Been there and back again. Sounds crazy, right? Uh. Where'd you hear that from? Where'd you hear that? Deacon brought it to my attention. And as usual, he won't give up the source. Yeah, I mean, it's true. It's all true. Deacon says you used teleportation. I can't imagine. You must feel just She's happy. Really proud of what your Minutemen have achieved in such a short time. Eventually, the Minutemen will devise their own plan to deal with the Institute. But I doubt your soldiers will place any priority on rescuing the synths inside. I'm counting on you being as passionate about freeing synths as we are. Please, work with us instead. Mm. Uh, the Minutemen won't help since? You think the Minutemen won't help the since? The Minutemen are a reflection of the character of the Commonwealth people. Partially time true. Time again, that character has been proven to be rotten. The synths False. are tangible receptacles of their hatred of the Institute. Order them Partially true. And they'd mutiny. Uh, that won't happen. But... At this point, I'm going to side with the railroad so that we can activate the railroad quests. And there is a way to no longer side with this, which we'll get to in a future video. If, depending on uh, which side we, we actually end up siding with. So, I'll let's go through this. You, you have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. Gas. There's a man, or a woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute, who helps Synths escape to freedom. Dozens of Synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name Patriot. So you need to infiltrate the Institute and make contact with Patriot. Uh, how would we do that? How do I make contact? Tom devised a way to send a message to Patriot. We can plant a coded message on an institute terminal, and if all goes well, he'll respond. Just see Tom, and you can proceed from there. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's talk to Tinker Tom. Get out of my way, Desdemona. Hello. Oh, man, you were actually there? Inside the belly of the beast? Nope. No time for that, though. You're hallucinating. Let's set you up to contact Patriot. I got here one genuine Tinker Tom special. Just load her up onto a holotank. Plug her into any institute terminal and execute. Nice. So we're done with that. Now, uh, we'll get to that eventually. Now we need to actually go. Where is it? Uh, here. Cambridge Police Station. Because we need to talk to Paladin Dance. He's got some stuff we need to discuss. Dude, Yagwais are such a pain in the ass, man. If you allow them to get too close, they will stagger the hell out of you. Non-stop, essentially. Makes it very tough to be a melee character. Sometimes. Like, I wish it was a perk that prevented stagger. There probably is. I just don't really play melee, so there's that. I like laser weapons too much. What can I say? Horsepower armor. All right. Look at all these buff ass dudes. Must have spent a whole 
case of ammo holding this site. Suppose that means we missed all the fun. No one's going to move on this place now that the Pridwin's in town. The Pridwin? Shut up, dude. It's a cleaner shot. I like laser weapons, too. Looks like we got something in common. Nicholas Valentino <laughs> is probably not going to like the fact that I'm about to join the uh, Brotherhood of Steel. I mean, I think I already joined, but still. Any day now. One day. There we go. Finally. Um, there you are. Paladin Dance. Cavalry arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. Let's try not to piss off uh, Nick. Not exactly subtle. The Brotherhood isn't exactly subtle when it makes an entrance. There's no reason to be subtle when you have that in your arsenal. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Gasp! Uh, provoking a war, probably. After rolling that thing in, you've certainly started a war. No one brings that much firepower without plans to use it. If history's Not true, exactly it's true. It's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That's very true. Besides, why should we hold back when we have something like that at our disposal? That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Sounds good, paladin, dancer, man, dude, bro. Let me ask you something. What's up? Sure, ask away. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, a whole hell of a lot to process i wanted to make sure you're holding up all right dude that's actually very thoughtful man uh but i'm all right man thank you yeah i'm all right huh you're a tougher nut than i Look thought at this fucking nosy ass dude right here i was go away a long damn time to get a feel for this place thank goodness i found diamond city it's got its flaws sure but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the commonwealth of course when i took up there back when People were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. Folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Um... What's the CPG massacre? M massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. What was the broken mask? Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. Damn. The security finally put enough holes in him to drop him. They say he was full of servos and sprockets. Just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Yeah, I can imagine that's being scary. To, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. But why did they let you in? Why did they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. <laughs> I was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing. Just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero. 
offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. That's actually really respectable for, for Nick, man. This is one of the reasons why I like Nick so much. Such a good dude, man, you know? Uh, you took down four tough guys? You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going... <laughs> Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. That's freaking hilarious, dude. Uh, and you're not a spy, right? You're not a spy, right? Testing, testing, hello, Institute, can you hear me? <laughs> well, if I know. If I am, the Institute's plan to gather intel on all the runaways of the Commonwealth has been going off without a hitch. Yeah, um, must have been hard settling in to Diamond City. Was it hard settling in? Yeah, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. Got Makes sense. Banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her. Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor and the dead of nights not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. Hell yeah! Back then, the things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. No, it does, Wanna dude. Moving? Hell yeah. Dude, Nick, you're a freaking awesome guy, man. I love you. Let's get married. I mean, what? <laughs> you think the Commonwealth looks bad? You should see the capital wasteland. Sure. Let's go upstairs, since that's what Paladin... Danzo wants us to do because we are going on a little trip to a giant blimp that actually rhymes dude that's crazy I'm not even trying I should be a rapper the kind that goes around your candy boom 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 alright let's see here if it decides to load that is of course any day now. Eventually. I really hate loading outdoors, uh, you know, assets and stuff like that, dude, because it really, really does take forever, doesn't it? Let's see here. That's if it decides to eventually, you know. Dun dun dun. Damn, this was taking longer than normal. Kind of weird. All right, finally. Looks like they're getting attacked uh, by super mutants. Hold on, let's see. Can we help out at least? At least? No, those are all brotherhoods. Where the hell are they shooting from? I'm not sure to be honest. All right, fuck it, let's go in here. <laughs> we left Nick. Where's Nick? There he is. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the local. If you say so. Ah! 
Like that, you mean? I'll tell you what. I'll shoot at this building. Is someone shooting at me? If you say so. Let's go. Woo. If you say so, Dance. I love that ship right there. Lancer Captain Kells? That dude sounds like a pretty big badass, actually. Uh... Alright, that's enough of that. There's the Pridwin. Look at that shit, dude. That looks badass. And there goes my settlement that I don't own yet. May I enter, por favor? Um, Boston Airport. Nice. It's actually a shame, to be honest, that the Boston Airport settlement is heavily restricted, man. I wish it wasn't. I wish we had like no limitations. Same thing with uh, the Diamond City place. Sure. This thing is enormous. It didn't take them long to uh, to fortify this place, huh? Dun dun dun. Let's go. Me either. Very astute there, Nick. Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Yay! Place the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Nice. So, as for me, what about me? So. You're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. How about I throw you off this freaking helicopter? Uh... I mean, looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Hey, you know what? I get it. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. 
If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Uh... So who's this Elder Maxon guy? Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? That line right there, by the way, makes me think that these guys were uh, the Brotherhood outcasts. Because he said that there were a bunch of stragglers in the Capital Wasteland. But if you've played Fallout 3, they weren't really stragglers. You know what I mean? They, they were actually a military faction in Fallout 3. So the fact that in Fallout 3, a set of individuals, you know, secluded themselves or, or got, like left the Brotherhood of Steel and created the Outcast. I would say the Outcast are more stragglers than anything. So who knows? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below if these are the same uh, Brotherhood of Steel from Fallout 3 or if they're more along the lines of uh, the Brotherhood outcasts. But anyways, power armor. Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. I'm the Dark Knight. Until Elder Man grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? What are my orders then? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Thank you. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Yes, ma'am. What the hell is he talking about? Not really sure. Alright, let's go. And check out this address. Not a dress. Who knows? Hey, you know what? I'm not judging, bro. If you if you want to wear a dress, that's fine. Maxon, but I need to see the address, Brothers not your dress. The road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. Ah, he's got a feet and fetish. Without question. Now that the ship is in position. It is time to reveal our purpose and our mission. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation. The Synth, a robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Gas! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! All right, hello. Elder, I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. From the outside. No, man, I believe you. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be uh -oh. repeated. Nicholas did not like that. Uh What do you want? What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Good. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, 
From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect Hell you yeah. in battle. Wear it with pride. Uh... Yeah, for sure, dude. I'll do my best. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Yes, ma'am. All right, so open your personal container. All right, let's go down. Should we go down? I mean, I guess I already went down, so fuck it. Why not? Luckily, we're still technically indoors, so it's not going to take forever and a day for it to uh, load this interior. Maybe a little more than normal uh, for an interior, but because that's... Yeah, the Pridwin's pretty big. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. All right, let me show you the uh, storage container. It's literally right here. This lady is literally on my bed. This is all my stuff. I don't know why I have a freaking antifreeze bottle, but hey, sure, why not? Everything holding together? <laughs> Good. That's so stupid. Uh, Alright, let's see here. This is my power armor. Let's go ahead and take it. Do I have to... What do, what's the Brotherhood's mission right now? I guess I don't really have a mission. Hey, what's up, Paladin Dance? Paladin Dance. There you are. How did it go with Elder Max? Uh, he seems dedicated. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. No, nah, man, I won't let you down, bro. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. <laughs> I'm already in one. First things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Uh... Sure. Sounds good. Let's go. Outstanding. Let's send him obviously to Covenant. There you go, Nicholas. I'm sorry, buddy. But all right, guys. For now, we're definitely gonna call it a video. In the next one, we're definitely gonna pick up right here. We're gonna do all of the Brotherhood quest missions up until. Uh, essentially, you know, the point of no return, and then we're gonna switch factions to probably the railroad, uh, and then of course to the institute, and then from there on, we'll probably going to make a decision on which faction we're gonna side with. With your help, of course, I'm gonna ask and propose a question for you guys, and you guys are gonna make the decision on who or which faction I side with. So, if that's something you're excited for, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.